All right, we're going to look at Miro. So it's been a minute since we looked at Miro. We looked on the six hour chart for pretty much every update. So we're going to zoom in here and look at the six hour to begin with, uh, just to give you a tighter price to watch. You can see going from this low to the high, um, we're over the 236. So I would say you're currently at 38, as long as you're over 34.6 here, down to 29, which 34 is a better price to watch here to see if this thing's going to continue pushing higher. If not, let's get this off of the chart. We're going to go down to the three day chart or no, the daily chart here and just keep it real simple here. You can see that going from this low to the high are two, three, six. Let's see here. Let me see here. No, going from this low to the high. There we go. The two, three, six is at 27. So if you fall any lower than that 34 cent range off of this wick, it's forming now. You can see that wrong tool, but you can see that my is potentially going to drop back down, uh, which is not really respecting the Fibonacci's at the moment. Potentially, you're going to drop down 26, 27% down to that 27 level. Um, but I would say if it keeps one of those levels on that smaller time frame, then you can see it may continue the higher low scenario. But off of this wick here, we made just a slightly lower high. So that could be the formation of some bearish market structure where it's going to come down kind of like it did back here to where it's going to have a pretty fat retracement down. So watch those smaller prices and then watch 27. As long as you're over 27, then you are still extremely bullish in the long term. So just keep an eye on those prices there. Let's get this off of the screen just so we can see. And for some higher prices to kind of watch, we went from this high to the low. And you can see this thing is getting stuck right at, let me just zoom out here, right at your 1272 at 42. So it looks like once Myro breaks over 42, then we do have a couple of prices to kind of watch here. So an 8% move to 42, then we have 55, then the 1618 here for a 100% move up to 81 cents, and then $2.70 for a 600% move. So a 6X potentially in play here if it makes it up to that price level. Uh, I do think uh, Myro is going to hit a pretty high price target because you got to realize it's, it's, it's pretty new. It's got a very low market cap. And it's a you know dog meme coin, uh, so yeah, I guess we will leave it at that for Myro for now. Just watch those prices, and we'll see what happens here. But overall, just looking at the overall chart, you can see uh, you know remember when uh, remember when everybody was calling Myro to go to zero back here? Uh, that's when we were following it on these smaller time frames, and ultimately you know you got a double bottom, higher low bounce, and you're bullish now. So. Keep it at uh, keep it that simple, uh, and just watch those prices on Myro. Uh, so yeah, Myro to the moon. We will leave it at that. Not financial advice. Thanks for watching. Good luck, everyone, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.